Hello, this is Osun Henry 2, Foxford Tango Golf, and today I'm demonstrating a simple uh, microwave transponder. It's 10 GHz in and UHF out. It's made from an LNB, and the transmitter is a normal Doppler motion detector unit with a DRO. I'm injecting the, mu the music to the power supply line of the DRO from an MP3 player at full volume, and I get about this much deviation, so not that much. Uh, I'm receiving this with a normal normal RTL SDR stick. The transmitter is simply a it's really just a motion detector with a regulator and a 9 volt battery and the power line being tapped after the regulator and the music being injected there. As you can see, the both the local DRO local oscillator in the LNB and in the transmitter drift constantly, so you have to actually have to adjust this all the time but as you can hear it functions we get music and if I try this with a gun oscillator as for the transmitter we'll get much better modulation this can be listened to at AM2 but it sounds absolutely horrible so I'm not even gonna do that and the transmitter the transponder itself looks like this this is a transponder, I have it on the uh, approximately other side of the house so that I can uh, 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 so I don't have uh, really any problems with an airfield stuff and it, this is barely line of sight anyway so it's a cheap typical LNB the LNB is directly connected to a 12 volt battery I put the power switch on the negative line because the positive line is the sensor pin from the IF connector, the F connector in the LNB, and it also used as a transmit antenna here. So it's just connected to, directly to the battery, but the idea is that this forms a, a, approximately a quarter wavelength radiator. Of course, in reality, there's also stuff inside the battery and all kinds of st stuff like that. But when the 10 GHz transmitter is closed, the LNB provides something like 1 milliwatt output. So if it was more stable, like a PLL LNB, and had some filtering and a, possibly a small power amplifier at the output, it might make a decent transponder for ham radio experiments and demonstrating how frequency translating transponders and repeaters work. And as we can hear in the background, it's, the transmitter has already drifted off from the frequency, so let's go and correct it. So here we see if you take a look at the waterfall that the transmitter drifts and it's approximately at some, well, a somewhat stable position because at the, when you start it up it drifts like, drifts like 100 kHz per second downwards. This transmitter started at 22, what a, something like 22.5 MHz, sorry, 22.7 and has drifted this much in a short order rounds. But it works, it demonstrates it quite perfectly and if it were a bit more stable, like if the output of from the DRO transmitter was buffered, it might not drift as much. But the second experiment will be using a gun oscillator from like a gun, gun flexor and having proper wideband hi-fi FM and then trying stuff like, like, well, let's see. It might be fun to actually have RDS with a stereo tool or something like that. That would be quite neat. But anyway, this works quite well and this was Osun 102 for Shot Tango Golf.